Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a very short and sweet video on using uh, Python API for automation of AWS EC2 instance. So what we will be achieving here is we'll be trying to deploy our EC2 machine from Python script. And we'll be using 423 as a Python module to achieve this. So without wasting time, uh, I will straight away go to the video. And before that, before I even explain you things that's required to do the automation, a few things that you might need to know. First thing is you might need to know how to deploy a EC2 instance manually. And I assume you guys know how to do it. And other thing is you should be able to go to the IAM with a user and also get the AWS key and a, a secret key as well. So without wasting time, what I will do is I will open my terminal here and uh, I will create a few things. So let me create a virtual environment first. Uh, so what I will do now is activate. So I'm in Python 3. Uh, I'm in Python. So I will create one more directory here. So I will just write open this in VS Code. And what I'll do is I'll put one more folder here. Okay. So just automation Python. And I will create a text file here. Let's name it the notes. ML. So there are a few things that you will need to start the automation itself. First thing is you will need AWS key to AWS secret key. I won't be showing you how to achieve this. But the rest of them, I will tell you what do we need to do. Let me go to the AWS console here. Let me open it up. So first, whenever you're trying to automate, you should know how to do it manually first. So if you are deploying a virtual machine, what you should always do is to launch an instance. There are a few things that we'll need. First thing is you will need which uh, which uh, uh, OS you want to use. So we'll we'll name it as AMI ID. So AMI ID is nothing but a uh, ID. Uh, if you see here, this is the AMI ID. So this is what we need. So what do we need AMI ID? So uh, I already have that thing populated from my previous test that I did. So I'll be using this AMI ID. So this is a Ubuntu machine. So another thing uh, we will need is instance type. So I type, um, so let's say it's, uh, let's say instance type. Type equals to t t two dot micro. And another thing that you will need while you are doing a deployment is AWS uh, key pair. So I'll be using AWS SCP. This is something that I I'll, that you should have already set up in your account. Else you can always do a create new pair, give a name, and download it. So I'll okay, get the key pair equals to this AWS SCP. The next thing I would need is security group. So to get the security group, you can always go to security group, security group. You just need to grab this ID, grab this ID. So uh, group, that one. Now what else do we need is the region. So where are you gonna deploy the machine? So I'm thinking of deploying it in, uh, Singapore, so it's called AP hyphen Southeast hyphen one. So my AP hyphen South uh, East hyphen one. Right. What else you will need? We will need AWS key, that's there. And I might we already got that one, we got that one, we got key pair, we got security group, we got region as well okay that's fine so we need we got all these things and what i'll do is 
if you go here and uh, search for Boto3 Python, so you'll see here this is the module that we're gonna use for Python. So the standard process to install the Boto3, what I'll do is I will get the notes. What I'll do is I'll create one more script, say automation Python aws.py so in this tutorial i would be using just functions but maybe in future videos i'll be being object oriented because that's where i'm more comfortable in so uh, once we have the script now let me open the terminal here itself and um let me create a okay, I'm already in virtual environment now. What I need to do is install Boto3. So we got uh, pip install in my virtual machine. If you got confused, just rewind the video and you should be able to see what I did there. Now, another thing that you, you need is let's say to find a function and you name it as. Um, create is to using uh, API you just keep this thing here and let's say print just if name is to main issues still here so if you go here um, I have that script inside this automation like, uh, folder okay, that's there Python automation cool we're able to execute a basic Python script now head over to uh, Google again and what you need to search for is instance to be more than if you click here it will take you to more this documentation this is for boto 3 and now what you should be doing is just search for an instance and just try to see the documentation things that's required so these are things that you will be requiring to do to do the automation and these are the expected values, but these are not all compulsory. So what I will be doing is I'll be just showing things that you will need to start with. So key, I've put somewhere else. I will take it later and uh, a second. Uh, then what else do we need? We need these values. What I'll do is I'll just save it here. So, okay, my ID is so an instance type so, key pair. Group. So, okay, just be mindful with these requirements. These are the uh, variables that I've defined. So to instance and to to create a C2 instance, we'll do we'll create object using Boto3. Do dot client. Then we'll pass a bunch of things there. Like um, let's say we'll be passing the object type that's gonna be C2. Then we'll do AWS. Key ID equals to AWS key. Another thing would be AWS secret um, access key equals to AWS secret. What else do we need? Uh, we'll need region name equals to uh, region. This is very standard one. So this will be almost fixed while you are doing a VM deployment. 
not the EC2 instance. Um, let me create up. Uh, let me call it as EC2 dot uh, run instances. And let me pass in few days. Okay, images. name gonna be prepare what else uh, do we need security group security group security group is gonna be in the format of list so it's gonna be the group shown here as well what else do we need uh, image ID That's what you will need so image ID equals to this is our AMA ID. What else do we need? We'll need minimum and max count. So minimum and max. I'm lazy and copy from there. I'll just one one. Uh, what else do we need? Okay, we'll need instant type. Instance type gonna be T2 micro, there you go. So we got everything passed in here. All this function and goes up to here. All good. Now what I'll do is why? Because we don't have the keys there. Here. See when you are scripting, you will get the error code from here itself. AWS secret is complaining uh, complaining here. So if I try to see it is yes, so it, it complained that the credentials are wrong. So now same script. Let me execute it. Uh, it's saying I'm the group ID is invalid. Okay. So security group. Security group IDs. We are passing security group ID. Okay. Since we are by passing the ID, so we need to give this security group ID here. Now let me run the script again. Looks like it's it executed. We didn't get anything here. So what I'll do is I will just mark down as a response as a return object from this more script and I will try to print uh, instance ID equals to response and uh, this is standard format because I've done it multiple times so I know how it's done this. then first one ID if I try to print it Let me run this thing again. Mm. Final testing. Okay. The thing is, we got an ID, so which means let me copy this. Now, if I go to my, if you go to uh, running here, if you go here, okay, um, the one I just created, it's called that one, and that initially one running already so because I don't need it I'll just terminate it now let me go to this one and I'm public IP now I assume we should be able to access to that machine so what I will do is okay ping here okay now we, we are inside this machine that means we are all good. So, so let me go to that script again and run this again. Okay. Let me grab this ID again. I just want to verify deployment is actually happening. If you go to instance, see pending. This is the same ID. F six. F six. Was pending 
Now let me grab the public IP again. Uh, now let me ping if I'm able to ping it first. Okay. So it has booted. Now let me let us try to access this key. U B U N T U at great IP. Yes. All right. Why? Oh, that's APT update. Why? Oh, yes. So, this is how you actually deploy the machine. So, this is just a very basic video that uh, we we're able to demonstrate. And uh, if you see here now, if you click on running instances, let's say running, we have two instances. So yeah this is the same ip so yeah this is how you deploy a machine in ec2 so this is a very standard process of having a python script and if you want to see the python script it's very simple you set up the keys you should set up the functions yeah and um one more thing let's say if i want to um deploy like four machines at once now it's much easier right now you got nothing two are running rest are terminated so let's say if i want to loop um let me write a function here so i in range let's say one two four let me see what it's doing python one two three okay now we'll deploy four three or let's say we'll deploy five so that means it's gonna be 24 VMs. Okay. Now let us just call this function inside this uh, loop. Now, if you run it, one, two, three, four. So you were able to now deploy four EC2 instance in a fly. This is the power of API. So I just wanted to demonstrate this, how this thing actually works. And in future, in my videos, I'll be showing you how you could actually deploy these from our CICD pipelines. These videos will be coming up in future. So that's all for now. If you got any questions, feel free to ask me. That's all for now. Thanks guys.